Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna start fresh today. Um, today I've really been a bit like slow moving. I mean, I've done stuff, but I really haven't done anything. I've just like showered, <laughs> done my self tan routine, which I did, didn't do my face, but I did do my body. I'm about to change and do some photos and listings for Depop, which is pretty much how I spend a lot of my uh, free days now, like when I'm home and I don't have video stuff that I'm doing that day. Um, I'll balance it out with doing inventory because I think I told you guys since the move, I found so much stuff in so many clothes that I will be listing over the next few months. I do it basically like 15 or 20 items at a time. Usually I'll take photos of like 20 things, do the listings, send them out, whatever sells, etc. Repeat maybe like two times a week, three times a week. So that's what um, I mean a lot of the time when I say I'm working. Uh, working either means doing video stuff, editing, uploading footage, doing thumbnails, re replying to comments, all that stuff takes a while. Business emails, replying to business emails, I try to do that at least like once or so a week and usually I kind of let them pile up so it takes me a while. Yeah, I got a comment on my last vlog being like, what do YouTubers do when they say they're working? And I replied to it, but a lot of people thumbs it up, so I wanted to answer that. And what I mean, I mean I'm doing any of that stuff or I'm just doing Depop stuff. Yes, I do it in my house, but yes, it's still working. This is some inventory. There's some on the back of my door. I tried to, I, the other night I washed and dried everything that was like in storage and then I hung it all up so it would be uh, not wrinkly anymore because everything was pretty wrinkly so I think from about this jacket it starts with this blue jacket to the end that's all stuff that um, is inventory that I'll be listing and then everything down here too all right guys my camera died uh, earlier before I started doing the pictures but I just did that for like an hour and 20 minutes now I'm grabbing some chocolate out of the freezer because I had a craving. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to sit on my couch and do my listings. I probably did like 15 items today, which wasn't as much as I wanted to. Sometimes it just takes me longer than I think it's going to and I really didn't want to dedicate like more than an hour and a half to the photos part today. So now um, comes the time consuming part, which is doing the listings. And I feel like I'm so repetitive and I tell you guys all the time, I'm just doing listings, I'm just taking pictures. But literally like it takes up so much of my time, but I kind of love it. <laughs> like the pictures are kind of the annoying part because you have to get good pictures, you have to try everything on so that it takes a while to get all the pictures. Um, but once you get the pictures, the listings and the selling, and packaging up and then hearing you guys' feedback like in my reviews and stuff, that's like the fun parts. So, oh my God, look at this little, look at this goober. Wait, put your head back, put your head back. <laughs> me and my little man, he was kind of hanging out with me while I was in there. We are just gonna do this for the next hour, hour and a half. I'm going to a yoga class tonight. I really haven't been working out um, pretty much at all uh, other than like walking the dogs. It's so funny though, do you guys ever feel like when you are working out, nobody says anything, like nobody's like, oh, you look like you've been working out, like you look good. But then when you're not working out and you're not even eating well, then people will be like, oh, you look like thin, you look skinny, what are you doing? That always happens to me and the only time that people comment on like, oh, you're looking like slim or girl, you look good is like when I'm eating not good and when I'm honestly not really working out regularly at all. And I sometimes think about it, I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Does that happen to any of you guys or not really? I got a few comments on the vlog from yesterday, the last vlog. Um, you guys were like, oh, you look so slim. Like your body's looking amazing, girl. Honestly, I think it was just because I was really self-tanned in that clip that I showed like my outfit. Um, and my mirror is honestly pretty slimming. Like <laughs> I have this $80 mirror from Ikea and it's honestly like a pretty slimming mirror, I think. I just itched my eye really hard, so that's gonna be a bit red. <laughs> but um, sometimes I think maybe it's because 
after you do go through a phase where you are working out and taking classes and then maybe you're not doing it anymore it's like that's when the results like your metabolism adjusted because you were working out but then you're not i don't know how to explain it but maybe like the results took a while to show and then you look thinner or whatever it is honestly i really don't know leave me your thoughts in the comments i would love to hear what you guys think about this okay this was a nice rant and i itch Thursday now. I don't remember the last clip I filmed yesterday. I think it was when I was doing the Depop listings, but um, I basically just went to yoga, which was good. I had some dinner, and then me and Sean just chillaxed for the rest of the night. We are going to do a couple errands. Um, I have been wanting to get plants for the inside of my house, and I have been putting it off. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna go and get some plants. Um, we're gonna go to check out a couple nurseries and see what we can find. Hopefully we'll have good luck. I wanna get mostly indoor plants that I can put all along the windowsill in the back that I've shown you guys that just has the fake plants right now. And then I wanna get a couple like bigger floor plants that will take up room in some of the areas that I don't have much in my house so I'm excited I think it's gonna add a lot to the house show you guys a little outfit of the day my shoes I haven't worn these shoes in so long and they're so noisy if you guys can hear that every step they make like a I don't even know what it is it's like the leather or the metal or something but I haven't worn these shoes in so long but they're some of my absolute favorites they're um, by Jeffrey Campbell and I think I got these at the nasty gal store probably like three years ago i've had them for a really long time and they're one of my favorites they're like a good one to wear with flowy pants like this because they have a little bit of a heel um so it gives it some slight height because usually the pants like this are pretty long so you have to wear kind of like a heeled booty or whatever anyway uh these pants i was actually going to sell these on depop i had them in one of my bags for stuff that i was going to list and then i thought well i actually kind of want to keep them i like these pants they're just from where are they from i think i got them at lf a couple years back none of this outfit is like new by any means i've had all of these pieces for a really long time and then this is one of my favorite like really basic black loose tops that kind of just goes over anything it's pretty old from top shop and then i did a little statement necklace um where the heck is this from i really don't know so we're gonna get in the car we're gonna go do a couple errands and we will see you guys with the plants look at these doggies <laughs> look at all my s boys i call i call them my s boys now because all their names start with s Smokey, Squirtle, and Sean, and they're all boys. <laughs> I'm the only one left out. You boys are so precious. We're the precious boys. What do you think about having Damn by Kendrick Lamar as a CD in the car? <laughs> it's amazing, you know. I have good ideas. Life. Honestly, CDs in the car are kind of underrated. I yeah, used to, Megan used right. to make me like, um, mix CDs for when I first had my first car ever and then for road trips we would always burn CDs um, and then I just started buying CDs because my, my first car, Naomi, we would always just bump CDs because I couldn't figure out for like two years how to play music off of an <laughs> aux cord in there and then I think I ended up figuring it out. I definitely figured it out by the time I had my second car but... Well this has yeah. like a six CD chain. 
Yeah. So Most good there. cars do. Do they really? Yeah. Wow. Most have like you can put it in multiple CDs. I think Dang. my car did. Six is. though. I think like six. <laughs> I think like four to six, five <laughs> or five or six. Um, anyway, we're headed to the North End Nursery right now. Guys, we found some really good stuff. Look at all these beautiful plants. These are more of like the house plants. They have a lot of stuff for outside, but we're gonna just do inside plants today because that's kind of what we want to start off with. Look how pretty with the lights. Oh, I love plants. They make me so at peace. So this is what we found. We have this basket with like maybe a little cactus. We'll show you guys when we get home and they're actually set up. And then this is probably one of my favorite ones. We found this one at the end, this pink one. We're gonna get two round wall planters to put some of the smaller ones in. And then we're gonna get this big plant. Let me show you the front of it. This is like the big floor plant that we found that we thought was really pretty. This is the best part, ready? The top. And we're gonna do that gray base over there for it. So we got home and we're now hanging, you can't really tell because of the light coming in right now, but we're hanging my old plants that I had along the windowsill because these are the fake plants. And they um, were in these hangers from my old apartment, these little potter things. These are just, I think, from Ikea. Mm -hmm. And then, the last one, right? yeah, the last one right there is amazing. So we've been untangling these chains, which they were all in like a giant, giant mess. So we untangled all the chains and it's basically one thing that hooks onto the ceiling hook and then it hooks onto the pot or the planter, whatever it's called, pot planter, I don't know. And we're gonna put three in my living room and then we're doing three right here. So we already have this one. I'm trying to get this from like the angle that you guys can see it. We have this one. Sean's doing the third one over there. And then I'm getting um, the plants I bought put into little pots. I actually didn't have to buy any pots because I already had a bunch. And this one I actually ended up just putting in a mug. So I ended up getting this gorgeous little plant. I don't know the names of all of them. Um, Tell them about the rose quartz cactus. That's my favorite one. Wait, rose quartz cactus? Yeah. That's what it's called? A rose quartz and then a super scientific name. Oh, I didn't know it was called that, but these are probably our favorite two plants. The rose quartz <laughs> peanut cactus. Is that really what it's called? This is the rose quartz peanut cactus, which we found and we potted and she's so cute. So we put her right and by one of the big windows. Into like beautiful pink purple if i show them a picture on my phone on this is it gonna look all weird no it's like pink purple giant and wow it's gonna bloom into how do you know it's gonna turn into that that's what they all turn into oh one time a year that's so one it, time a um, year they bloom and oh we got it gosh. right before it bloomed ah i'm so excited i'll update you guys on that and then this is the aloe plants that we have there and i'll probably put the other ones on the windowsill and then we're going to put the big one, which you said this one's a lily. Are you sure? Yeah, it's know. called a peace lily. This is the peace lily, and this is like the big plant that we got. She's so gorgeous. And we're going to take it out of this. We're going to go into my backyard and take it out of this. And we got some more potting soil and put it into this big gray pot because we think this one looks nicer. That one is the one, only one I haven't taken out of the box. I kind of want it to go in the living room though. So that's what we're doing. We actually haven't gone to Trader Joe's yet. I thought we were gonna do like a bunch of errands, but we only went to do the plants. Um, and then Sean went and grabbed me like a couple things for hanging up the fake plants, which was really nice. So we're kind of getting every, what? Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hang the third plant now. We'll show you guys. Sean's my handyman. He does everything for me. Tell me how good I am. Oh, incredible. Thank Better you. than good. I love hangy plants. Yeah, it's looking And good. it's really nice having them, obviously you can do real hanging plants, but it's nice having them fake because I don't have to water them up there and I can just literally leave them up there and not worry about it. I like the aesthetic of how real plants grow downwards 
Spider yeah, that's true. That's always nice. Hi guys, I just finished editing up the footage you just saw and I didn't film an outro, so I figured this would be a good place to end off the vlog. Um, before I end off the vlog, I wanted to give a little shout out to one of my incredible viewers for making me this beautiful freaking moon crystal necklace. So. I should know, honestly, I should know what the stone of this is, but I honestly am blanking on it right now. And then she wrapped it specially for me um, in like a gorgeous silver wrap with a black cord. And I believe she wraps in either like silver or gold, and then you can choose if you want the cord of the necklace, which is this part, to be black or brown and she makes so many beautiful wraps and she sent this to me like super quickly and it was just so incredible to get. I've seriously been wearing it every day since I got it. Um, her name on Instagram is Enner Soul. I'll have her at right here. You guys should go check her out. I'll also link her Instagram in the description box of the vlog because why not go and check it out seriously go look at all the beautiful wraps she has to offer i love this so much i don't even remember the last time i have loved a piece of jewelry this much i think it's just because it was handmade for me like so especially by one of my viewers and it's just incredible thank you guys for watching this vlog definitely let me know how you're liking doing the week in my lifestyle again obviously i'm not vlogging every day i'm just vlogging on certain days let me know if you guys like the kind of week in my life or if you want me to do more let me know what you want to see 